Uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to my another webinar which is going to be on Mongoose with uh, Node.js. I mean we are going to use a MongoDB as a database and Mongoose as an ORM and Node.js to write the APIs. Okay, so MongoDB is a non-relational or you can say a NoSQL database we have in our system like we talk about Postgres, MySQL those has some kind of a structure defi defined, some kind of a schema defined for those tables, they have their relationships. But when we talk about MongoDB, it's a schema less, it's a NoSQL database, it's just storing the documents inside uh, its collections like user collection, student collection, those collections are going to have just a document and it just add a underscore ID as a unique identifier for each and every document. It's just a matter that we can have some kind of a structured data around it using some wrappers like we can use a mongoose to structure the data to add the validation before saving that data from node.js apis to mongodb so mongoose is used the latest version of mongoose has the latest updates and it has evolved a lot from callback based uh, way of persisting the data to the promises now you can use async await and all so we, we are going to talk about Node.js with the Mongoose, how it works and how to manage the relationship uh, with Mongoose. So what Mongoose is adding, it's like a ORM layer. You don't need to interact with the MongoDB directly. We have to define a structure. First of all, MongoDB is a schema less. But for our APIs, we are going to store a structured data. The course collections obviously need to have the data related to only course. It can have some kind of a relationship. Uh, with a student one to many one, many to many or one to one right all these kind of relationships you can't uh, Define in MongoDB database, but there is something like on the mongoose layer We can define some kind of a structure and all these kind of relationship to populate the data and to insert the data So mongoose is providing just a schema model object using which we will access the data will persist the data but it's not applying all those kind of relationships on the database layer. MongoDB is, is still schema-less. If you are interacting directly with the MongoDB, you can just play around with the data. It's a schema-less. You can insert any kind of data on your, on your documents. But what we are doing is we are not interacting uh, with MongoDB uh, NoSQL directly. We are using Mongoose. And at the layer of Mongoose, we are defining some kind of a validation through defining the structure of the schema models using which we are able to store only structured data for our needs. Okay, installation is simple. It's coming with the as an NPM module. So you can require it and you can use it. Okay, so like all these kind of ORMs, what they are providing, they are providing us a structured way of defining a schema model, right? So here we can say that user is a schema. User schema is going to create a user collection in MongoDB and what all attributes it are it is going to have those kind of validation rule we are going to define in a mongoose model we are calling that as a mongoose model like username is a string required unique should be true so whenever you are inserting the data into that schema model using mongoose it will run all these validation before persisting this data to the mongodb because we are not applying these rules at mongodb layer we are applying it at the mongoose layer so it will run all these validations and it will give us the data if you are violating that, it will not allow us to just directly insert the data because MongoDB is a document based, we can directly access. Okay, so simply how we are going to save a user or save an entity. So we created a models in Mongoose. We will just create a Mongoose connection using Mongoose root connect. connect. You can just pass the, the schema URL, uh, the MongoDB URL. We are going to, we have already set up all these things with the Docker that there is a MongoDB container and there is a Node.js container. Node.js will have APIs and Node.js will establish a connection with the MongoDB, right? But when we are going to save it, what we generally do, we create an object of the model and we just do it something like this. This is just a callback way of doing it. Now you can just use new promise dot save or um, user dot create pass this object. There are many ways of just creating the entity, right? This is a typical one way. So. Mongoose has evolved much with the with the time earlier we used to do a callback way of, way of dealing with the mongoose now then it changed to the promise way of doing it and now with the async await wrappers you can use it like user.find it will give you all the data in the user collection user.find by id will give you only those users have matching with the this particular id right okay so 
primarily this video i'm going to create i'm creating only to to understand these relationships how the mongodb collections or a mongoose collections manages all these kind of relationships which can be one to one one to many many to many these these are the common concepts which exist anywhere like you talk about rdbms like mysql postgres and all you use any kind of orm with the node js with this mysql there also you will deal with this these three different kind of relationship where you wanted to define a relationship between two entities there we will be using primary key foreign key or surrogate key and all these different kind of concepts like you might be creating composite key to define a constraint with the two different entities but here with the mongoose we don't have all these concepts so how do we manage these all these relationships with the sql based it uh, no sql based database okay and with this mongoose var so there is always a confusion around how we actually manage this so video is targeting only that okay so first in this video we are going to talk about one to one one to one means a uh, client will have a customer customer belongs to a client okay uh, another example is user has a profile and profile belongs to a single user it is one to one mapping okay one belongs to one one is associated one and then one belongs to one right one is to one relationship like customer has only one client one client belongs to only one customer so in the case of one to one relationship how we can store this kind of a data how to architect or you can say how to define our schema model in mongodb so that we can manage this information so there are always a different ways of doing it either you can use a embedding two documents or having two different refer references okay so this is like uh, uh uh you can say a denormalization approach what we are doing is we are actually creating uh references this is normalization you created a customer as a different reference or you created a identifier as a different reference because this is again going to have some id and then you are embedding it okay or you can have these old two schema models separate this is having its own collection it is having its own collection you might be having like some id identifier common like customer id is here this can be the object id so this customer is a separate schema model but this id you will be passing here as a customer id so client will have relationship with the customer in the form of customer id okay this is called a reference and this is called a embedded way of doing uh, the relationships one is to one okay this we can just look into the different examples in the form of code like uh, okay here we will take a look on the code first of all i will try to explain what we are doing in this repository this is already shared in my blogs there is a blog repository tksmr.com forward slash blog okay so here we just have a simple a uh, nice and nice looking setup with the docker compose we have a mongodb container and we have a node js container and mongodb container here and uh, node js depends on mongodb mongodb is just uh, spinning up the container and in the env file we are just passing a mongodb port is 3000 and moment is development okay it just a basic express js mvc application i didn't use any typescript just to not to make it complex just for demo it just a simple mvc application where we have a model controllers and routes from routes we are going to the controllers controllers will deal with the models data models are nothing but a mongoose representation okay so first of all we'll take a look on one to one relationships okay like client and customer so how we are going to store using reference like here the reference store is this is the client document client collection document and here we are going to manage the customer id as object id this is a way of storing using a reference id okay another way is embedding the document where you have a client document and you put all the details of customer so in this case customer is not a separate collection you are using customer as a key as a property inside the client document you can't get a customers as a totally different customers list like if you wanted to get a customer list you can't get it because customer is nothing but just a property inside the client collection okay but here customer will be having a separate collection okay you defined a customer model and uh, you just you are just using a reference to associate customer with this client okay now 
how we do it in the schema model approach like what we have to write it so that we have to define while defining a schema okay so schema definition is some kind of a simple i will try to explain it in a little nicer way i hope that can help you <coughs> so consider that this is my simple what you can say customer model client model this is how we define the schemas in mongo so i am creating a mongo schema then later i will just register this mongo schema with my model okay so here it will be a client and this is a client schema i have now to have a one to one relationship i just need to provide that object okay like customer will be an object if you want to have one to many then the scenario will be different because this client can have multiple many customers then you will be wrapping it around inside an array okay and here what we are saying okay this first client will have a array of customers and then you will just keep pushing the customers one by one but here scenario is different we will have or we are having only uh, one client is having only one customer and one client is having only one vendor like you can have associations with a multiple collections right one is to a uh, one is to one with a customer one is to one with a vendor and how we define relationship uh, we we represent it as an object and you just need to provide a reference of that collection so there is another schema model we have as a, a vendor somewhere down the line like i have a vendor model and here this model is vendor vendor schema let's call it anything you like and it doesn't now it do you don't need to define any uh, relationship here uh, it is a vendor okay this vendor is having one is to one relationship with the client okay this is the vendor so we are going to create vendor as a separate you are going to create a vendor schema as a separate you are going to create a collection in vendor separately now once vendor is created you can embed it that vendor while creating the client okay so how we what are different ways i mean we create a particular entity if we just take a look on to a different examples like i imported this particular model like uh, client and this is a schema model so consider this is my client js okay which i have imported here so what i'm doing i'm importing a client model okay what i got is client model representation from here now what all things i can do i will be writing some controller like uh, you got the request into the routes and you got the request into the controller now this controller will have some method like uh, a sync create client first let's create a vendor so here uh, you might be getting a request and response right so consider that you got some data const uh, you can say vendor a request dot body i mean request dot body is having a plain object which you directly got now using just a sync await what you can do is uh, return i got the vendor model vendor dot create and you can just pass this vendor so what it is going to do it it is going to create me a vendor if it's simple i got the vendor object now okay now consider that i am i have a two properties uh, let's get the two properties vendor and uh, we have a client both payload are coming just for an example so i created a vendor first i got the vendor now now what i will do is i can create a client client can also be created in the same way right you got the client data so what you can do is first of all you have to set client dot customer right we have to set client dot customer so client dot customer you can set equal to new vendor uh oh, sorry client dot vendor we can set new vendor dot id 
it should be object id right now what you can do is you can save the client client dot create and you can pass the client object and you can wrap it around try case if you want because we are using a sync of it and there can be a chance that it is going to return an exception and you can do next error something like this or if you wanted to create an embedded object then you can just create a vendor and just assign this the whole object to a client client dot vendor equal to that same uh, the big object where you define all the properties it is simple right you are just assigning the properties so if we just look at the code here we have created a client and here we have created a customer right now in the actual code when we start writing it so I mean uh, this is just an example client customer is to one is to one but in the code which I already have we already have a one is to one relationship with one book will have a one author consider that we have created a scenario that a book can't have more than one author and there is a one is to one relationship already exists so if you talk about book book is having this author relationship object id and it is references author means book has one author and author belongs to a book it is a one is to one relationship if you go to author author doesn't have any reference of book because we have already defined the reference of author into the book now while creating a book or creating an author author can be created independently now while creating a book i need to pass author id in the book right we are while creating a book i need to pass the author as an object id so i can just simply write uh, the routes so here i have authors and i have a create author okay create author will be straightforward because we are not defining any relationships here so if you just uh, do a try catch So it is a simple example what we are doing and here let's see we got the data from request.body this data we are just going, going to just persist right so here I have author I just need to get the model author.create this method is available and you just need to pass the data which you got right so what it will do is it is going to create an author for us and what we can do is response.send we got the author okay so create author this will work uh, fine because we are just hitting uh, we are sending the payload and we are able to create author now while creating the book we have to somehow pass the author id because we are we are going to create a book which is having which should have some author right so create a book right request dot body so what the body will have body in the body you have to pass the author so the the simple payload can be sample payload for this can be uh, let's check what uh, book model is having book model is having title subtitle and author right and text is another thing which we'll talk about so it can be having a simple json object title something then we have subtitle and we have author author should have an object id okay id which we have created so in the routes we have to provide that id or in the payload you have to provide that id something which is a 64 character object id right now while getting this we got some data for the book in the payload now we just need to validate are we passing the correct object id in the payload if not just throw the exception otherwise create the book so we have populated the book with the author information so while saving it it will have the author id it will have the author id in its record so we are actually uh, defined the relationship of book with the author is a one is to one now populating either author or a book you can just populate the information okay like if i wanted to get the book information using get request book controller you can populate it something like this uh, 
a weight book is the model dot find populate author i also have another relationship tags for a particular book so i will be able to populate it so what it will do it will populate the book information with the author or the text both right similarly the author controller for a particular author information now you can also get the books information it will come as a nested object of the author right so the advantage of it while defining the relationships as a reference both will be a separate document you can query both the document and both will have its their, their own individual ids so you can query and you can define the associations but there is a there case to case it depends you do you want it do you not want it uh, is it fine to have a embedded document but it's always better to have a reference because you will be able to separately query them okay so we talk about both the things normalization normalization means you are where you are having a two different collections and just defining the relationships using this object id or embedded where you are embedding the both the collections okay this can be a, a simple example and we can just test it using this particular code here in part, one particular case we are having embedded object whole in other case we are just having the id of that particular customer okay so in the next video what we can do is we can talk more about uh, one is to many relationship what all the possible uh, ways of achieving it right so in this case we just talk about how we can embed it an object like a client how client can have a customer or how client can have just a customer id and then you can fetch it okay so other thing is this populate if you have defined the relationship like uh, here in that book i have defined as author and i already have that like this book is having author id in this author column so while getting this you can just populate the information about that okay and you can also just remove the attributes like underscore underscore view or id you you if you wanted to remove them you will be able to do it so this is just a plain one is to one relationship and here you can just query it something like this you will get the data and here we are just passing first we are creating the first entity then we are just passing the id of that entity created either you can pass that id as a request param or in the request body i choose the body first we are validating that that should be a valid object id if not then obviously we are just passing the dummy author id okay so what we will do in the next video we will talk about one is to many relationship and we'll explore more